Adoration is a really big part of my faith personally. I, I would argue also that adoration is dispersed throughout the whole universal Catholic Church. So it's a, such a big part of most Catholics um, and part of their faith and growing closer to God in a really beautiful and intimate way. Um, some of the things that happen in adoration could be like devotions, maybe you read some scripture, um, you have benediction, you have lots of incense. It's basically anything you can do to kind of elevate your senses to contemplate and yeah, just think about the real presence in front of you of Jesus Christ. Um, it's also really beautiful to contemplate about the Stations of the Cross because as Catholics we believe that um, adoration and the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament is uh, exactly the same as the crucified Christ, um, as if he was right there crucified in front of us. It's that same body, that same divinity, soul and blood, the whole essence of Christ. Um, and he gave that as a gift to us. Um, he said in, I believe John, he says, do this in remembrance of me. This is my body given up for you. And I believe that this became a popular devotion of exposed, um, the exposed adoration um, in the 11th century when a priest, a French priest, started to challenge um, the real presence of Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. He argued that outside of mass, the consecrated host wasn't actually co consecrated, it was just a piece of bread. And so Pope Gregory VII, he kind of rebutted that and he said, he like he, he established like all of these different things about the truth and the reality of the Blessed Sacrament and the Eucharist um, from the earliest beginnings of Christ's establishment and institution of sacraments. And ever since then, um, it became such a popular devotion to take the host to the sick um, who couldn't make it to Mass, um, to adore the Blessed Sacrament as it was reserved outside of Mass. People would be coming to the church just to see Jesus um, outside of Mass specifically. So even though they're not consuming him, they're just being there and adoring him as if they could be at the place where Jesus was crucified. and. That is literally the pinnacle of Catholicism, is the crucified Christ. It's all about um, the crucifixion and what exactly that did for us. Um, everything that it reveals about a Trinitarian God. Um, I mean, obviously God is everywhere, you know, and you have people saying, oh, just pray to God where you are right now. But when you are promised by Christ his genuine presence in adoration, there's just nothing can beat that. So when you're going to adoration for the first time, you walk through the church and you, uh, you would kneel on two knees instead of one. That's a big difference that people might notice. You'd also notice um, there's two candles lit up next to the monstrance. That's just to represent Christ's genuine presence right there in front of us. Uh, you would, sometimes you have music playing to try to, to elevate your senses to heaven, to contemplate the presence uh, of Jesus right in front of you and to kind of connect with him in genuine intimacy. Everything that we can do through Christ and his gifts to uh, grow closer to him. You might have some devotions, maybe a rosary, uh, might have some just genuine prayers from the heart, just sit there in silence. Um, it, you could say nothing and graces would actually flow through the sacrament, the blessed sacrament, you could say nothing, do nothing and just sit there and your life could be changed forever. That's just the same as if you were standing right in front of Christ himself.